Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and I'll be taking you through weekly videos on lichen protection and other concepts in electrical safety. In this video, we're going to explore the different types of earthing systems such as TT, IT and TN and how you can correctly design the earthing for your next electrical installation. Over the past century, electrical safety standards have evolved into sophisticated systems. This evolution is a result of thousands of failed experiments. Electrical safety has been tried and tested in every infrastructure project, from a small house to a large industrial complex. One of the major features of these electrical safety standards is the earthing system, widely followed as a standard practice in any project with an electrical system. These earthing systems are a basic requirement for safety in any electrical installation. These standards are published by the IEC or the International Electrotechnical Commission. The IEC is the organization that prepares and publishes international standards for all electrical, electronic and related technologies. Within that, IEC 60364 is the apex level document that informs the standards for low voltage electrical installations around the world. Low voltage systems are electrical equipment that use 50 volts of electricity or less. Common low voltages include 48 volts, 24 volts and 12 volts. You have probably seen these plug points throughout your house. Residential examples of low voltage systems include doorbells, garage door openers, home security sensors, thermostats and landscape lighting. Commercial low voltage systems cover a wide array of categories from fire protection to security systems to sound and communication. In such low voltage electrical installations, the reference standard IEC 60364 is used for the measures to be implemented to guarantee the protection of personnel and property. These measures include earthing systems as well. IEC 60364 has defined three types of earthing systems. TT, IT and TN. The TN system is further subdivided into the TNC, the TNS and TNCS and thus we will refer to five types of earthing systems prevalent worldwide. But what do all these letters even mean? We're going to explain that now. T is the direct connection to the earth. T stands for the Latin word terra which means earth. I is isolated. N is neutral. S is separate and C is combined. Now we know what all the letters stand for, but how do they combine together? The first letter of each system refers to the power source from a star connected winding. The second letter refers to the consuming equipment that needs to be earth. Let's look at the TT earthing system as an example. In this earthing system, connection to the supply source is directly connected to earth and load end or installation metalwork is also directly connected to the earth. Therefore, in case of an overhead line, the mass of the earth will be the return path for the line. The neutral and earthing conductor must be separated through the installation because the power distributor only provides the supply neutral or protective conductor for the connection to the consumer. Now, the IT earthing system. The distribution system does not have any connections to earth or it has only a high impedance connection. The basic feature of the IT earthing system is that in the event of a fault between phases and earth, the system can continue to operate without interruption. Such a fault is referred to as a first fault. Thus, usual earthing protection is not effective for this system and this type is not meant for consumer power supply. The IT earthing system is used for power distribution systems such as substations or generators. TNS earthing systems in this system, the ground conductor and neutral conductor are separate throughout the distribution system. 
The protective conductor is the metallic covering of the cable supplying the installation. All the exposed conductive parts of the installation are connected to this protective conductor or via the main earthing terminal of the installation. The TNC earthing system. The neutral and protective earth are combined into a single conductor throughout the system. All the exposed and conductive parts of the installation are connected to the pen conductor. As per section 8-4 of the Electrical Safety Quality and Continuity Regulations from 2002 from the UK, consumers shall not combine the neutral and protective functions in a single conductor in his customer's installation. Finally, the TNCS earthing system. The neutral and protective earth are combined into a single conductor in a part of the system. This type of earthing is also known as multiple protective earthing. The supply system pen conductor is earth at two or more points and an earth electrode may be necessary at or near the consumer's installation. All the exposed conductive parts of the installation are connected to the pen conductor via the main earthing terminal and the neutral terminal and these terminals are linked together. That's the conclusion of the video. We hope you liked it. If you'd like to go deeper into this subject, we link our blog post about earthing systems in the description of the video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll be posting videos like this every week. Thanks.